So when we have changing traction conditions, we can have problems with the vehicle that cause us to lose control of the car. That could be mean that our brakes are out of adjustment, something's not quite right, maybe one of our brakes is punching too hard whenever you step on the brake pedal, and as a result, we're spinning out of control. Okay? Uh, could be our brakes, could be worn tires, or it could be uneven tire pressure. Okay? If we have bald tires, we're going to slide. Uh, remember to use the penny test. If you take a penny out of your pocket and you turn it upside down, who's on the penny? Abraham Lincoln, right? So whenever you stick the penny upside down, head first, into your tire tread, if you can see, if you, if you can see all of Abraham Lincoln's head, it means that you don't have enough tread depth. You don't have enough traction on your treads. You need to get new tires. So use the penny test. Stick that penny in upside down. If you see Abraham Lincoln's head, it means it's time to get new tires. Okay, the other thing, if you have uneven tire pressure, we have a variety of different tire pressures. And your tire pressure, depending on how much you load up in your vehicle or how many passengers you have in your vehicle, that's going to change the pressure in your tires. So here's what you need to remember. We're going to have a variety of different um, tire pressures here. Okay, if this is the tire and we're looking at the tire touching the ground, we're going to have three different kinds. Okay, here's three tires. What these drawings represent is this. This one here with the loop, this one's underinflated. There's not enough air pressure. This one is ballooning out or bubbling out because there's too much air in it, so it's overinflated. And this one is just right. Now, typically, you're going to see, you can either check your owner's manual for your car, or some cars will have a sticker uh, on the gas door. Whenever you open up the gas door to get gas, there'll be a sticker in there. Fords do that, where it tells you that what the correct tire pressure is on your tires. Uh, another thing would be some of them put the sticker on the door jam of your driver's door. So when you open that door up, look at the side of the door for that sticker. And that sticker will tell you how much air pressure you should have in your tires. But just as a general rule of thumb, typical car is going to be either 30 or 35 PSI, which stands for pounds per square inch. Okay. Now, if you're underinflated, meaning you don't have the correct uh, amount of air pressure, if we need 35, maybe we got, we're going to say 20 pounds of air pressure. 20 pounds PSI. This is what happens to your tire. Your tire's not making contact with the road. Okay? The edges are making contact, but it kind of bubbles up in the center, and you've got no contact there. So no traction means you're going to slide. Okay, over here, if we're supposed to have 35 pounds, maybe uh, someone accidentally put way too much air pressure in and you got 50 pounds in, so it's blown up like a great big balloon. Okay? That means that we've only got a very little space of tread touching that road. So we're not getting much traction here either. We need to be right in that correct range of what our car is rated at. And let's say it's 35 PSI. This means you've got full traction of your tire correctly inflated. The maximum amount, amount of tread is contacting the road surface at any given time. So you want to make sure that your tires are inflated correctly to the correct pressure.